Hi all, welcome to Power Automate Desktop tutorial series. In this tutorial series, we are going to create videos based on Power Automate Desktop. Like our Automation Anywhere tutorial video, here also we are going to explain you each and everything from Power Automate Desktop. And also we are going to create and upload some real-time project which will help you on understand this tool better. Okay. So in this uh, first video, we are going to explain you in case if you are very new to Power Automate Desktop and you want to learn it, then we are going to explain you step by step how we can install Microsoft Power Automate Desktop in our machine. So this video will be helpful in order to do the installation. Before start, I'm requesting you to kindly support us by subscribing this channel and in case if you feel the video is helpful and the informative then kindly click on like button this really help help us and motivate us on creating more and more videos all right so now let's start so in order to get uh, access to Microsoft Power Automate desktop you must have your Microsoft account okay in case if you do not have the Microsoft account you can create it it's free to create like Gmail okay so for my case I'm having already uh, a Microsoft uh, Outlook account okay so I have logged in with my Microsoft account itself so once you logged into Office 365, so basically what you have to do, you have to open Office 365 and you have to log in there using your Microsoft credentials. Once you log in, your page will looks like this. Okay. So after coming to this page, what you have to do, you have to click on this dot. Okay. And here you have to click on more apps. So once you click here, you have to look for power automate so we can see here it is available here so you have to just click here so basically this power automate is a microsoft power automate flow okay so in order to get power automate desktop so you have to first come here and after that you can find a place from where you we can download the setup file so you have to just click here on my flow once you click here in your right hand side we can see here we have the option called install so click here and we can see there are two options available power automate for desktop and on premise data gateway so let's click here power automate for desktop once you click it it will download the setup file once this will download we will proceed with the installation step okay so download has been completed now let me go to the folder so you can see here this is the setup file you only need to do a double click here and it will start installation okay so you have to click on next button and these things will be same only you have to accept the agreement and click on the install The installation has been done now we can see the message installation successful you are good to go right so now let's click here launch app to see the app how it looks like so all right so we can see here the microsoft power automate desktop has been installed successfully and it opened so for my case it has taken my uh, login from this office 365 directly in case if it is prompting you to provide your user id and password so make sure you are putting the credential which you have used to log into office 365 web otherwise it will not uh, allow you to log in so if both email id and password is same then you will be able to log in in case if it prompts otherwise by default it will take the details and it will come to this page so this page looks like uh very nice okay we have all the informations available here so maybe you can explore it once you do your own installations now let me click here on my flows 
So once we click here, so we can see in case if you have created any task that will be available here. Okay. Now in case if I want to create a new task or a flow, so you have to click here in the new flow and it will ask you to put the flow name. So let's put a flow name something like that. I'm putting something PAD Power Automate Desktop Installation Video and click on Create. So it will take some time and it will create a task for you and it will open a designer window where we can start building our task. So this Microsoft Power Automate is also like other RPA tools which is available in the market like Automation Anywhere, UI Path. So here also we have everything predefined. We need to just drag and drop in the body to create your task. So we have everything available in case if you want to work with Excel, you have to just type here in the Excel and we can see we have all the options available in order to work with the Excel. Similarly, if you want to do anything related to the email, so we have all the options available. In my next video, I am going to explain you about the variable and the other uh, structure part in Power Automate which is available here. So we'll understand uh, those details here. After that, we are going to start with a small small project so that's all from this video thanks for your time and watching this video thank you very much